Greetings everyone, Pockets here, back again playing some more EVE Online. We are once again on Cal, looking at some more things I do in my downtime to make ISK. And this time we're going to take a look at combat, or not combat, data and relic sites. We looked at combat sites last time. Uh, normally when I do this, I do it in Nullsec, maybe every so often in a wormhole. But it's been almost a year since I've done any sort of any of the scanning and hacking relic sites and data sites, so I figured I would start in high sec where I have a few minutes to explain what's going on as we do it. But I'm in here in my Astero. Now an Astero in high sec is way overkill. Uh, there's lots of things it does that you just don't need. Uh, the T1 exploration frigates are just fine in high sec, and I mean they're pretty good in anywhere. They're nice and cheap, so if you do lose them, it's not like you're out a bit. But I like flying the Astero, so I have one. And let's just get to it. Uh, it's probably the best exploration ship you can get as an Alpha, that and the Stratios. On the ship, the only thing that really matters for what we're doing today is going to be the Core Probe Scanner. Now, you don't need to go with the Sisters one. It's about a 30 million -esque fit, but I can afford it, so I have one. Uh, this, the eight Sisters Core Probes, Scanner Probes, you definitely want to go with those. They're not that much more than basic ones, and you'll get a little bit out of it. Micro warp drive, this is going to let us close to our cans quick. Again, not quite as critical in most of high sec exploration. Again, what we're going to be doing today. But if someone does come to your site, it allows you to get around and get to the cans before they do. I carry a relic and a data analyzer. And you'll see I have a tech 2 relic analyzer and only a tech 1 data. Normally when I do this, I focus on relic sites down in like wormholes and stuff. So I don't usually even have a data analyzer with me. But I threw one on here just for this video, and I haven't actually trained these to Tech 2 yet because of that. Um, I'll probably change that here in the next, you know, seven years or so. And the cargo scanner, there's you can use it or you don't. In high sec, I don't usually bother. I just hack everything because I'm going to do it anyway because I like to clear out the sites so new ones will spawn. Uh, but this is nice if you think there's a chance you might get interrupted. You can scan, find the most valuable can, and go hack that first or hack that and leave. So it's on here. I'm probably not going to use it today, but we're going to focus on scanning and then hacking the types of sites. And then I just have some tank for surviving gate camps and stuff as I'm going through low sec and null sec. And occasionally on wormholes allows me to maybe buy me some time to crash back through a gate or something. I get stuck in a bubble. But let's get right to it. So here we are. We're flying away from this station at a good rate. I'm just going to go ahead and line to the sun because that's what I do. Actually, let's first set up our path. Let's get those all in here. Probably won't use them all, but we'll get them all set up. And then optimize route. There we go. So we'll align to the gate we want. We're going to scan these two sites. We have two cosmic signatures. These you won't know until you scan them. So, launch our probes. And you can see our probes are out. That's them there. And then we'll open up our map. And we'll pick our first place, and this is all you do. So click on one, it'll center it and select it. Take this baby, center it over the X. Double clicking off of anything will uh, rotate the map like that, which is beautiful. So you get it centered. And I start at eight. There's a trick you can do with starting within four AU of a Astra body. I've never had much luck with that, so I just start at eight and work my way down. Um, in high sec, you, know, you may lose a race if there's another scanner in system, but it's just, I, I spend more time fiddling with this 4AU thing. I haven't figured it out yet. And again, it's been like a year since I've done this, so. So click on it again to center it. Double click to rotate the camera. Center it. Come down here, drop it to 4. I uh, use the center scroll wheel, so you just mouse over it and scroll the down. Scroll the wheel down, or you can just click on the little text. We'll analyze again. Now, if I'm in, if I'm in dangerous space, I'll set this up more like this, so I can watch local. But, and then there's this trouble, I'll switch over and watch this. But I just uh, have this in the middle here for the sake of this recording. You're going to miss anything in this corner, but there shouldn't be much going on down there. What do we got? More cosmic signature. So let's go ahead and move it. We'll just keep scanning this down and shrinking it. Uh, the higher skills, the quicker this goes. And it depends on what we're actually scanning as well. Now there's math to all that, but you don't need to know that. This is just how to do it. So we go down to 2 AU. This is usually where I see what the item is, between 4 and 2, depending on what it is. This is probably a wormhole, if I had to guess. So we'll see. Uh, oh, we didn't get it, so we might actually be on to maybe a covert ops or a combat site. 
not covert ops, the covert research facility. Uh, that will not be doing today. I haven't done those in a while, so and they're a little tricky because they can actually kill you. So I'll practice that before I do a video on those for sure. Uh, so I dropped it under one AU, got it recentered. Again, I usually do this a lot quicker, but since I'm explaining it, uh, oh, a relic site, nice. Well, that's exactly what we want. So now we don't have to go looking. So we'll center it. We got to get this to 100%. So we'll go down to half an AU. This should give it to us. We do have one more. I have okay skills, pretty decent skills actually, and the Sisters Probe and the uh, Sisters Probe Launcher and the Sisters of Evastero, they're all bonused for this type of stuff, so that's cool. I won't bother scanning the second one normally, I'll scan them both before, but we're going to recall our probes. Always remember to do this before you leave system, and then I'm going to reload. So before we start, I'm going to align to it here, actually let's warp to it, you can see what we've got. Uh, yep, yeah, that's fine. So the first thing you do is if you right click on these modules, you'll see uh, you want to set these to auto repeat off. So you can see on my micro warp drive, it's, it says set to auto repeat off. If I click this, it'll only cycle once per when I click it. Uh, so it's nice to turn these because you don't need to keep them running to hack the site. And it just kills, wastes battery. So just turn that off so it only cycles once. Okay. So you can see here, here's our cans. You can see them here, 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 here. You just pick the, and lock them all up. If they're in range, and I go to the closest one, I'm just going to go to it. And again, in null sec, low sec, I'll orbit them at about 2500, but in high sec, I just bounce off of it. I uh, orbit them just because you want to keep moving, you don't want to get tied up into it if something be into trouble, but I'll just get into range, stop that, we'll bounce off of it, just like that. That gets us in range. And these are relic sites, so we're going to activate our relic analyzer and get the mini game. All right, so here's the mini game. This is how you hack a container, for those who haven't seen it. So you've got your virus coherence, which is your virus hit points. So the idea is you're a virus, you're controlling your virus, trying to get through the computer's defenses, find the core and destroy it. So there's your hit points. And this is basically your strength is how much damage you do to antiviruses. Uh, you start here and you just click these nodes and you sort of navigate through. Now when you click it, you get a number, so five. It tells me that there's something, not necessarily the core, but within five nodes of this one. So we're going to work our way through here. Now there is a rule of six. Again, I can't verify that it actually works, but I do use it because it gives me some purpose. And what that is, is you want to go to areas like this, where you have one node surrounded by six. And then when you click on it, if you get one that says one, there's a chance that probably the core is in one of the six around it. So that's what I kind of do. And I just sort of click through like this. You can see the numbers getting smaller. Two, two one so the core is probably in like one of these three here so there's a wrench one and there's a this so these are upgrades so the wrench the utility subsystem self-repair when you click on this you gain hit points every time you click a node and then this one here is a defense uh, to the kernel rot so this one has the coherence of the defensive node. So we'll show you that when we get to one. So we'll click here because that's the center. So this is a defensive node. And if you click on it, you get a description. In high sec, they're pretty innocuous. They're not big deals. There's some scarier ones in low sec, and some of the null ones can be quite, quite bad, like healing all the other nodes or dealing damage to you and all sorts of craziness or having your coherence or your damage. But in high sec, they're pretty simple. But if I click on this, you can see its coherence is 40. I'll click on it. It goes to 20. I'll click on this too. You'll see mine go up. And then when we click this, we're going to do our 40 damage and it's going to kill it. Just like that. And then there's something within one, so it's probably like here. Nope, oh, here. Nope. So we kill this one. We just keep kind of looking until we find... Oh, that's two, so we'll go this way. Three. Is it up there? Yeah, there it is. So that's all you do. You kind of click around. You try to work at a system. I'll show you on really quick once I've killed this node here. So this is the mainframe. You kill this, it unlocks the container. And then you can loot it. So we got, it's not bad, 300,000. Again, in high sec, this isn't the most lucrative thing you can do, but doesn't also doesn't need to be. So I just usually pick the next closest one, align to it, one pulse of the micro warp drive. Actually, that one's 25. Yeah, we'll give it one. Probably going to bounce off. This is it here. Or do we have to go through that? Yeah, we got to go through that. It's going to bounce us around it. Not a problem. So we just redo it. Again, I'm a lot more careful in null and wormholes and low, but in high sec you can be a little whoops. Because what people aren't going to really do much to you, typically. Turn that off. 
stop. And we have to be within 5,000 for it to work, so we'll just approach. And we'll check this one. Now, the reason you bring a cargo scanner, I figured I wasn't going to use it, but I will, is you can pick one like this and cargo scan it. And after the pulse, it'll come up and it'll tell you what's in it. So if you want to just look for certain things like the blueprints and stuff that you can get, and that's how you do it. Uh, we'll hack this one. I'll do this one quick without talking unless something changes. So there's lots here, so I'm just going to work my way through. Oh, we'll take that. Uh, that, so we'll just leave him for now. Work our way this way. Uh, dead ends? What's here? Yeah, dead ends here. So we'll kill this. Three. One. There he is. And that's basically all it is. And then kill the core. And loot. So another 350,000 of these here. Uh, I sell them to the court because we use them to make drones or whatever. The industry guys use them, so... Alright, next closest one. Is there anything on our way this time? Nope, that's perfect. Pulse. And you can see my modules aren't running. I only click it once and my modules don't keep running, which is the whole point. It's perfect. So we'll get in, we'll hit brakes. Just to sort of lessen the effects. We might even just not even bounce, that's perfect. And we'll scan it. And we'll just work our way across the bottom here. There's that. Take that. Come up. Grab that. Oh. Okay. That's okay. Come up this way. One. There he is. Look at that. So because these ones are defend are not important, you can just ignore them until the end, until you have to clear them. Uh, there's certain ones, like there's a spider one. Ooh, there's a little two million this here. Oh, uh, no. It's these. Two million worth of those. So it's not too bad. And again, I've now paid for, basically paid for a very basic T1 Explorer. So if you wanted to just pick this up and give it a try, you can pay for your ship real, real quick. And this isn't high sec, in null or low sec, if you can get back with your gains safely, you'll pay for 10 or 20 ships in, in a single site sometimes. Now, sometimes people will already have been here and taken all the best stuff and just leave the sites, especially in like null and wormholes so sometimes you can get a site and it's already been picked over but I like to clear them up anyway just because if you don't they don't respawn anywhere else and it's a waste especially in high sec all right let's hack this baby and we'll once again go through two 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 so it's probably up here there's a wrench one 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 three okay let's check what that is then we can take that uh, let's go back this way uh, we don't need that. I didn't think so. Okay, so see, now I'm stuck. There's nowhere else I can really go, because I know it's not in here, probably. So I'm going to pick, like, the best one. Now, obviously, I'm being more careful than I need to be, because these sites in high sec are pretty weak compared to my skills and equipment. And he's actually probably right there. Uh, here? Oh. Two. Here. That's where he is. Wrench. Hmm. Probably here then. Node. There he is. Knew he'd be here somewhere. Here we go. Another hack. Let's see what we get out of the can. And, oh, that was a crappy can. That might have had something in it that someone already picked out. Not a problem, guys. I'll clean up your mess. So, dad and relic sites are about the same. I find I get more out of relic sites these days, although there are some nice blueprints usually available in the data sites. Uh, so if you're an industry guy or you have industry people, like me, you, you can go grab those blueprints and turn them into a bit of a profit sometimes, like inch, ancillary reppers and that sort of thing. So, yeah, I'm actually going to start getting back into this. I want to practice a bunch and then I might disappear back into like Nolan stuff. Uh, Kel doesn't usually have a lot of time for doing that because when I would do that I would live out of my Astero for like a week or two and not come home for a week, which was pretty cool. So I just sort of very nomadic. Just try not to die while exploring. Uh, if I do that again, I'll definitely bring you guys along for the ride. But like I said, it's pretty busy yet right now. So uh, one, so maybe up there. There he is. I'll just do these. I don't care. Kill it. And there we go. So let's see what we got. <laughs> Carbon. So we got 3.5 million out of that site. That's not actually a very good one, comparatively. And we'll just go through the scanning one more time real, real quick. We still have this. So I can just sit here now because this site will disappear. 
And if I wanted to, and this is what I would do in like no sec, low sec or null sec, is you move away from everything. Launch probes. Cloak. We're too close still. Oh no, we're not. There we go. We cloaked up. And I would I could actually bookmark this now and have like a safe space somewhere in null sec or in a wormhole in case I ever come back. Alright guys, so that was a pretty good little trip out. Got to show you a bit of scanning and hacking and how that all works. Uh, it was a very quick and dirty explanation about it. I find the best way to do it is take what I've shown you in this video, fit up a T1, you don't have to be in a stereo, go fit up a T1 exploration frigate for whatever race you've trained frigates in, and just get out there and give it a try. Uh, as you play with it and see the nuance, you'll, you'll figure it out. And just practice makes perfect. You'll get faster and faster, and you'll pay for your T1 frigates in no time out here in high sec. And yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome and fun. And I think I'm going to keep doing that. That might be what I focus on for the next couple of weeks until the new event starts, starts because, man, did I fly those galas a lot. And yeah, so we're going to sign off here. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get my channel up to that thousand subscriber threshold so I can monetize these videos and keep things rolling. I greatly appreciate it. And I thank you guys all who have already supported me. I really, really appreciate that as well. As always, fly safe. Take care, and I'm out of here.